Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Genesis chapter 25. This is the Amplified Version. Abraham's Death Abraham took another wife, whose name was Keturah. She gave birth to Zimram, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan was the father of Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Asurim, Latushim, and Lumim. The sons of Midian were Ephah, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were the sons of Keturah. Now Abraham gave everything that he had to Isaac, but to the sons of his concubines, Hagar and Keturah. Abraham gave gifts while he was still living, and he sent them to the east country, away from Isaac his son of promise. The days of Abraham's life were a hundred and seventy-five years. Then Abraham breathed his last, and he died at a good old age, an old man who was satisfied with life, and he was gathered to his people who had preceded him in death. So his sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is east of Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased from the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried with Sarah his wife. Now after the death of Abraham, God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac lived at Beer Laharoi, descendants of Ishmael. Now these are the records of the descendants of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's maid, bore to Abraham. And these are the names of the twelve sons of Ishmael, named in the order of their births. Neboeth, the firstborn of Ishmael, and Kedar, Adbil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jetor, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their settlements and by their encampments, sheepfolds, twelve princes, sheiks, according to their tribes. Ishmael lived a hundred and thirty-seven years, then he breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people who had preceded him in death. Ishmael's sons, descendants, settled from Havilah to Shur, which is east of Egypt, as one goes toward Assyria. He settled opposite east of all his relatives, Isaac's sons. Now these are the records of the descendants of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean, Syrian, of Ped Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Aramean. Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife because she was unable to conceive children. And the Lord granted his prayer, and Rebekah his wife conceived twins. But the children struggled together within her, kicking and shoving one another. And she said, If it is so that the Lord has heard our prayer, why then am I this way? So she went to inquire of the Lord, praying for an answer. The Lord said to her, The founders of two nations are in your wombs and the separation of two nations has begun in your body. The one people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out reddish, all over like a hairy garment, and they named him Esau, Harry. Afterward, his brother came out, and his hand grasped Esau's heel. So he was named Jacob, one who grabs by the heel, supplanter. Isaac was 60 years old when Rebekah gave birth to them. When the boys grew up, Esau was an able and skilled hunter, a man of the outdoors. But Jacob was a quiet and peaceful man living in tents. Now Isaac loved and favored Esau because he enjoyed eating his game. But Rebekah loved and favored Jacob. Jacob had cooked reddish-brown lentil stew, 
one day when Esau came from the field and was famished. And Esau said to Jacob, Please let me have a quick swallow of that red stuff there, because I am exhausted and famished. For that reason, Esau was also called Edom, red. Jacob answered first, Sell me your birthright, the rights of a firstborn. Esau said, Look, I am about to die if I do not eat soon. So of what use is this birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear, an oath to me today, that you are selling it to me for this food. So he swore an oath to him and sold him his birthright. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and got up and went on his way. In this way, Esau scorned his birthright. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.